Islamic toilet etiquette describes the rules that the Islamic faith has regarding personal hygiene when going to the toilet. This code of Muslim hygienical jurisprudence is known as Qadaa al The only issue which the Quran mentions is the one of washing one's hands verse 5 to 6. Issues of chirality bodily symmetry, such as whether one uses the left or right hand, and which foot is used to step into or out of toilet areas, are derived from hadith sources. Rules A Muslim must first find an acceptable place away from standing water, people's pathways, or shade. They are advised that it is better to enter the area with the left foot, facing away from the qibla prayer point, while on the toilet, one must remain silent. Talking, answering greetings, or greeting others is strongly discouraged. When defecating together, two men cannot converse, nor look at each other's genitals. A man should not touch his genitals with the right hand. Eating any food while on the toilet is strictly forbidden, the anus must be washed with water after defecating. Similarly, the penis and vulva must be washed with water after urinating. This washing is known as a stinja. The Quran suggests that one should wash one's hands as well, which is discussed in verse 5 to 6. When leaving the toilet, one is advised to leave with the right foot, and also say a prayer. Praise be to Allah who relieved me of the filth and gave me relief. It is also reported in the Hadith of Bukhari that whenever Muhammad went to the toilet, he said, In the name of Allah, O Allah, I seek refuge with you from all offensive and wicked things. Alternate translation. From evil deeds and evil spirits. Topic. See also. Asher Yatzer, a Jewish blessing after e.g. defecation Bidet shower Squat toilet Topic. References Topic. External links Islamic toilet etiquette in the Hadith and Fiqh Islamic jurisprudence.